So we are back and I think you guys will enjoy this video. It has lots of action of landing on water, mud, rocks and wet grass. Here is a water landing on a shallow part of a gravel bar. It looks spectacular but it wasn't that deep but was fun anyway. This is a Mooney M20. The pilot is Brian Painter. It's all about energy management and he does a great job landing this airplane in a short field. His name is Field of Dreams in Washington State. Most of the landings in this video are in the Cessna 182 and the Cessna 170B I fly. This landing is in Moravia de Chirripo in Costa Rica, high density altitude, wet grass and mud. I try to come slow and keep the power, but as you can see the nose wheel is trying to sink in the mud. At the end the nose wheel sank in the mud, fortunately it wasn't that deep and we have no damage whatsoever. This is Memalus in Idaho, high density altitude plus mud makes for a very long takeoff run. I start with 10 degrees of flaps, lean the mixture for altitude, full power, and I start a long takeoff run. As soon as I have 40 miles an hour, I add 10 more degrees of flaps for a total of 20, and the airplane starts to lift off. I make sure I make this smooth so I don't sink in the ground again. This is really a beautiful area of Idaho. Here we are in Moravia again, also high density altitude and same strip, so it's muddy. I do a soft field takeoff. As soon as I'm airborne, I lower the nose, lower the angle of attack to get more speed since there are obstacles up ahead. Another mud strip, this is marine on the Pacific coast in Costa Rica. This one is short, but we don't have high density altitude. So we have more lift and more power and the takeoff and the landings are much easier. This is Memalus. I'm going to show you the takeoff from the cockpit. And you can see how much mud is on the runway. It is a very slow start for a long takeoff run. I made the transition smoothly and then again lower the nose to gain more speed. In this case, we have no obstacles, on the contrary, we are up high on a plateau. Another reason we have a very long takeoff roll is because we have been camping in Idaho for four days and we are loaded with camping equipment and fuel, so we are kind of heavily loaded on this takeoff. the Sac River, Washington State. This gravel bar has big rocks. The next few videos you will see landings and takeoffs from gravel bars with big rocks, even in the Cessna 182. Takeoff in Skagit River, Washington. We are lightly low. Again, this is Skagit River, Washington State. It's a landing on a gravel bar. 
Usually when we fly into gravel bars, we fly with the airplane lightly loaded, not much cargo and not a lot of fuel. The airports are nearby and we can refuel when we get there. For landing the Cessna 182 on gravel bars, I try to come as slow as possible, touch down smoothly with power. Always trying to protect the nose gear as much as possible because that's a weak link of the Cessna 182 and it can get damaged with big rocks or a log. This gravel bar is Arrowhead in Skycomish River, Washington. It's a short gravel bar but the Cessna 182 performs really good at low weight. I do a very slow approach and touch down as smooth as possible and slow speed. Next, we are back in Skagit River, Washington. It's a takeoff from a gravel bar. I always try to do it as quickly as possible, so be in the air quickly, then lower the nose. Soldier Bar in Idaho, one of the most rough airstrips I landed. We have a lot of water bars and bumps, so I try to come slow and uh, protecting the nose gear. It's no home is Valley in Washington. This is just a field. My friend lives next door to this field and it's kind of uneven so you have to time the landing where you will land. The tall grass is not a problem for the 170 with 31 inch tire. This is Duval Airstrip in Washington, also tall grass. to make a soft landing, touching down smoothly and pulling on the yoke. This is Green Valley in Washington. We knew the depth of the snow wasn't that much, so we attempted this takeoff and landing. city in Washington. Also we knew the depth of the snow so we attempted long landings and takeoffs. We will see I come with power and I don't produce the power until I on the ground. Now we're doing a landing on Green Valley, Washington. Again, trying to come very slow with full flaps. Landing in snow is a lot of fun. It's very soft, it's like landing on pillows. But you have to take your precautions because if it's too deep, you will flip over. This is Lord Flat in Idaho. I'm landing at 182. This is a very rough airstrip because it's like dried mud and the surface is very rough and hard. You see the compass broke to the, this landing. Finally, we have the Mooney M20 taking off. It does a great job. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Please join me on Patreon if you want to support 
Pack Country 182 YouTube channel. ...of this video, I navigate uh, below Back Country 182 at the top right, you can click on Patreon and it will take you to the Patreon page where you can select your membership level, it will show you the tiers and everything. By becoming a Patreon for Back Country 182, you will not only be helping the YouTube channel, but you can also get direct advice or discount on some aviation products for your airplane or advice or products for your airplane, we can chat, um, video call.